absolutely ridiculous i had no clue that we had so much stuff but let me take you back to the beginning let me sit down and i'm going to explain to you what i did okay first things first welcome back to another minimalism video my name is steph if you are new here and i am on a massive journey of just completely decluttering my home and today i did electronics and just cords and everything else that you would, I guess, associate electronics with. And oh my gosh, I just, I'm really shocked at how much stuff we actually had in our house. I came in with this category thinking that we would be okay. I knew that we had a basket somewhere with cords that we had no clue what they were for. Well, I didn't anyway. And I also knew that you know, there were a couple of things here and there, but when I actually got stuck into every little cupboard and every room, it was crazy the amount of stuff that I found. So I ended up starting out in my room and I just went through the drawers and there was a couple of things behind the TV as well, which was a bit of a mission to get out. And then once I was done with the room, I made my way into the spare rooms and that's where it all unraveled. <laughs> that's where i found everything and it was intense so i spent a lot of time just pulling everything out from the spare rooms in the cupboards i swear they're like a black hole and just absorb everything because there was just so much in there and what did i do then there were now there were a couple of things that i just left in the place that they need to be because obviously we use them all the time and they're not something that I'm going to consider getting rid of which is obviously tv that's obviously too big to move my computer also i left my laptop upstairs our apple tv and what else did i leave i think that was it oh and just uh, obviously my camera that i'm recording on so i use my camera and the tripod that i've got so i'm not going to get rid of that as well but everything else i got out and i found heaps of stuff there was obviously iPads that we haven't used for a couple of years. I think I found five mobile phones, including an old school Nokia. I found heaps of like all of Tom's old gaming stuff. So I think he wants to get rid of that. So I found all his games, a whole heap of like hand controllers, I think they're called, <laughs> I don't know. And then also some DVDs as well. But to be honest, Full disclosure, I also know that there is a big suitcase full of DVDs that are in the garage, but I'm not even going to attempt that yet because I would have to pull everything out um, to get into this little like closet in the back and then pull everything out of that. And I know it's in there and the garage is a whole other kettle of fish and that will happen later on, not right now. So I will deal with that when I get to it. But anyway, I'm feeling very overwhelmed, but excited because I feel like once I get through this pile, so much stuff will we can get rid of. And I'm just, yeah, very, very excited about that. But yeah, I have no clue where I'm gonna start. I think my plan of attack will be to just pull out bits and pieces that I know we definitely need to keep. There was a whole heap of um, like hard drives and, USBs and memory cards that I will need to chuck into my computer, have a look through them, save them if they need to be saved and clear them out. And then I'm just gonna get rid of most of that stuff as well. Yeah, I think I just need to dig in, figure out what I'm gonna keep and just start getting rid of the stuff that we no longer use. There's just so much stuff. Anyway, I'm going to dig into it before I lose all my motivation. I may need to go get an iced coffee from up the road, but it will be decaf because I am, well, I have quick coffee this year. So it'll definitely have to be decaf if I go and get it. All right, I need to stop procrastinating. Let's go. Okay, it is the next day. Yesterday, I did end up going and getting my decaf 
iced coffee so I ended up just having a Netflix and chill evening but today is the next day it's a new day and I'm going full force into this craziness of a mess that I have got going on on the dining room table and some of my kitchen bench as well and I must admit I probably spent a little time just like staring at the pile not knowing where to to start I was literally just sitting on my chair and just staring into the abyss and going what have I gotten myself into <laughs> but it wasn't long before I got stuck in and just got it done so I want to share with you exactly what I did to take it from this to this And what I did to begin with was I had a look at the pile and there were a few things in there that I knew that I definitely wanted to keep. So I had my definite keep pile, which included things like my cameras and the chargers, the GoPro, the drone. And then I had a few things that I also knew that I wanted to sell. So my big photography lights, my iPad, and this seemed to just reduce the pile significantly, which was really, really good. And then what I noticed was we also had a lot of like Apple products in there, like accessories. So a lot of headphones, a lot of charger cords, all that kind of jazz. So I pulled all of them out and put them into its own separate pile because I knew I would have to go through and organize that by itself. Then there was also like cameras and memory cards and hard drives in there as well. And for old phones, there was heaps of old phones. So I pulled them out and separated them into like an action pile because I knew I would have to go through those to make sure that we'd saved everything that was on them and cleared them off before we decided whether we, got, we were going to keep them or whether we were going to donate or get rid of them somehow. And then there was the cords. So many cords. Just wait until you see what we wind up with. <laughs> then once I had them sorted into those piles, I went to the next level sorting. So I sat down with all those Apple accessories and I went through them to figure out what we needed and what we didn't need to keep. For the headphones, I ended up keeping, I think it was four. So I have one at my computer that I use when I'm editing my videos. Then I keep one in my top drawer that is for when I have to take phone calls when I'm downstairs. One in my bag so that when I go out, I've got headphones there if I need them. And then also one in my drawer in my bedroom. So I know four headphones seems like quite a bit, but that's just functionality. It just works for me at the moment. I don't want to have to think about if I'm upstairs on a phone call or something, I don't want to run downstairs to get some earphones. So I think if we ever reduce the size of our place or if we don't have like a two-story home next time, maybe I can reduce it even more. But for now, that works for me. And for charges, I ended up having three. Other than that, the rest was gone. Oh, except for one iPad charger because Tom wants to keep his iPad. So we needed to keep a charger for that. But apart from that, all the other cords were either going to be given away to people or they were going to be um, just gotten rid of. I need to figure out how to do that because I don't want to chuck them in the bin if there's some place that I can actually take them. So I will find that out and figure out how to get rid of them in a good way. And then I moved on to the action pile. So the first thing I did was I gathered all the USB sticks that we had. I think we had like nine or something. And I just went through them and cleared them out. So one of them, actually, actually two of them, one for me, one for Tom, were the USB sticks that we had with all our skydiving stuff on it. So it had like videos and all our photos on it. And that was actually a really nice memory to go back to. And I was watching my video even and just remembering those feelings just simply from watching that video. So that was really good. So most of the photos I ended up transitioning over onto Google Photos, but I also kept them on the USB. But what I did was I transferred all of my stuff and Tom's stuff onto one for the skydiving adventure. 
and I just kept that one USB stick with all that on there as well and then all the other ones I cleared out and I kept one spare one because sometimes when we're having our tax done I will actually put all our information onto that USB stick and I will take that to our accountant so that we don't have to have all this paperwork everywhere because you know, I don't like to have lots of paper sitting around, as you know. So like I've mentioned before, we are a bit of a digital home here. So I had one USB stuff with all our skydiving stuff on it and then a spare one for just in case purposes and things like taking our documents to the accountant. Next up was the memory cards. So I had a bunch of these as well. Some of them I didn't even realize I had, but I just put them into the computer and I cleared them out as well. One of them had a whole bunch of photos from my first trip to New Zealand, which was so amazing. And it was so nice just to go through all those photos again and remember just all the fun that we had. So we spent a lot of time with Tom's family while we were there and we did a bit of a you know tour around the North Island so we went to a cousin's wedding we also went and spent some time in Rotorua and Topol which is where we ended up going skydiving so it was just nice to reflect back on all those memories definitely put a smile on my face but what I did was I cleaned out all my memory cards and I ended up just keeping three so one is my huge one that I keep in my camera which I'm using right now and I think that's about 264 gigabytes so it's quite large then I kept two other spare cards as well one is a 64 gigabyte and the other one is a 16 and I put them into my memory card security case that's pretty heavy duty and that's all I'm keeping the rest I'm going to give away I then moved on to clearing out the hard drives so we had two massive two terabyte ones and then a smaller one which was 500 so I've already got another two terabyte that I keep at my computer which I store all my YouTube videos on but these other three that I had stored away somewhere can't remember where I pulled them out from I think two of them were in the cord box but I pulled those out and I just had a look to see what was on there and I cleared them out and then we had two charge banks and one of them was a lot bigger than the other one and could cater to charging two things at once. So I'm gonna get rid of one of those and the other one I just put on charge and charged up to make sure it was working and it was good to go, which it was. I tested one of the phones on it. So we'll be keeping that one and getting rid of the other small one, which was still in its box. And finally, I organized the old phones that we had. So a few of them were very old school and from were from years and years ago, and they were the old Nokia phones that we had. So those just need to be gotten rid of, but we did have a few iPhones. And as you can see, Tom tends to smash his screens. <laughs> so I plugged two of them in to charge so that we could then organize to get all the stuff off of them. One of them was uh, quite damaged, so we couldn't really do anything with that one. What we're hoping is to take it to an Apple store to see if we can actually get the memory card out of it, because I know there's a lot of old photos on there that Tom would like to keep. So that's an action that we need to do later on. But the other two phones, I charged those up. I then went through the photos and backed up them to Google Photos. I went through all the text messages and all the contacts just to make sure there was nothing on there that we needed to transfer onto our current phones. And then it was just a matter of turning off the finding my phone clearing it out, transitioning it back to factory settings, and then we're going to get rid of those as well. And we've now arrived to the cord clean out. This box of cords is just absolutely insane. I pulled it out and I just had to have a bit of a laugh to myself because I was like, we have this box of cords, we don't use them, and I, for one, have no clue what we use them for. So I sat down on the ground with the box and I literally pulled out every cord that I could find. There were like power banks in there and all sorts of stuff, or power boards I should say, not power banks. And I found a phone in there as well. So there was another phone in there that's gonna, gotta get rid of. Uh, and then once it was all out on the ground, I had a look at the ends of it to see like if it had the same end to a different one. And then I pretty much piled them or consolidate them all into smaller piles of the alike cords, if that makes sense. And then once I did that, I got Tom to come over and I was like, 
what do we need? Do we need any of these cords? One of them I actually needed because I need to use it for my printer because the for some reason it's not scanning properly at the moment. So I was gonna go buy a new cord, but I was like, wait, let me look in the cord box. So I actually found a cord for that. So I was keeping that one and then pretty much everything else we're getting rid of. So we're just gonna donate all our cords. Uh, the only stuff that we kept was one power board because it's a really good one and it has that, um, uh, what's it called when you make sure that if something happens and the electricity turns off surge it has a surge protectant in it so I wanted to keep that one and then also we kept an extension cord and that was it everything else we were getting rid of I couldn't believe it and that's pretty much it. I was finishing up now. I'd organized everything. I figured out what I was doing with most of the stuff. There were a few things that were left on the table, which I just asked Tom about what he wanted to do with them. So once I moved that stuff off the dining table, which most of it was gonna go to the sell pile or the donate pile anyway, I was done. And I was so excited that I may have had a little dance. Okay, I did. I did have a little dance, but I was so excited. So this is the pile that we're actually going to be selling. So it has things like my camera lights in there. It's got some computer stuff. It has my projector, which I bought originally years ago, which I don't even use anymore. My iPad, Tom's virtual reality stuff. There's a bunch of movies and all of Tom's PS3 and all of the games that go with it. And this is the leftover pile that we are keeping look how small it is i absolutely love it it has the drone my gopro a couple of selfie sticks a power board a couple of things that we use whilst traveling and yeah just a couple of other bits and pieces now i just need to find a home for all of these things which i don't think is going to be hard and one thing that i do want to do is actually look at storing it all in one location because up until now, I've kind of kept my cameras on my work desk, memory cards in the drawer, a couple of things elsewhere. So I'm actually cleaning out the linen cupboard shortly. So what I want to do is I think from a result of that clean out of the linen cupboard, I think there's going to be some leftover room. Like there's going to be a lot of space left in there. So I actually want to sort of dedicate a section of that to electronics and that kind of stuff. So I might just actually keep it on the dining table or somewhere central for now until I get to the linen cupboard. And then I'm probably gonna organize it for a little section in there. So it can all be in one spot. That way we know where it is at all times and we know where it needs to go back to once we're finished with it. And I think that's a really big major tip when you're doing a massive declutter is that the stuff that you are keeping needs to have its own place it needs to have its home so then that way you know that when you need it you know where it is and you know where you then need to put it back and so does everyone else in the house and then that just makes it a little bit more easier so then you don't have stuff just sitting on like the tops of like benches or dining tables or anything like that you know that everything has its own little place to be this process of cleaning out the electronics at first I was like this is gonna be super quick and then when I've actually pulled everything out I was in shock and I was just like I can't believe how much stuff we have and to be honest I've kind of felt that way for each category so far I've always thought that it was gonna be quick and then I actually realized how much stuff we had but this one really really shocked me but it was also a really amazing feeling once it was done because I just realized how much stuff we were able to get rid of that we don't need and we don't use. And I think I've just hit my peak now where I think that, you know, I've still got a couple of big areas that I need to do within the house. But other than that, I think it's just going to be easier and easier and it's just going to be amazing. I can't wait to get right to the end and just have this beautifully clear, inspiring environment within the home. So that brings me to the end of decluttering electronics and all those crazy amount of cords that we had. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. Leave me a comment below and let me know how much stuff do you have in the electronic category? 
do you think you have a lot or don't you let me know and the next video that I'm going to be doing in the minimalism series is going to be digital space so we are moving online and if you enjoy this type of video and you enjoyed this particular video then you will love the ones that I've previously done and also the ones that are upcoming. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are not, I will leave a link here for you. Just press on that little face of me and I will see you in the next video. But until then, I will also leave a couple of other videos on this side to check out if you're interested. Anyway, take care and I will see you very, very soon with the next minimalism video. Bye.